Shoko and her team are in awe upon seeing a guardian spirit in the flesh. However, having sustained injuries from the conduit spikes, the guardian spirit lashes out in rage and attacks Japan itself. In order to stop the carnage, Shoko takes off and gives chase. We can't give up. There's always tomorrow. New mission. Head south and pursue the Guardian Spirit. Where do you think it's going? We're trying to figure that out ourselves. It's so fast, I don't know if I can keep up. Madam President, you can't let the Guardian get away. Please, hurry! Yep. Bikes are damaged. It, it, and it has a bunch of it laid into it. Now these poor energy balls can hurt. But this is a good way to build up a good chain combo. Because this one thing you unlock by getting one of at least a hundred. You stay closer, because if it gets too far away before this timer runs out, you will never have a chance at it again. Well, no, you have a chance, you'll just lose one of your lives. I have to start this section over. I've seen this combo go up to over 300 before in this. Pretty much just hit a few and then stop it. And you'll do good. But the most important thing is to stay close to it. So you can see where it's going. It should be close enough for putting pull. This is Kira. Reports confirm volcanic activity on Mount Fuji, which has been dormant for years. That must be where the Guardian Spirit is heading. But why Mount Fuji? Our theory is that Mount Fuji is acting as the Guardian's nest. The energy veins have a central hub there. Having been injured, we think it may be instinctively heading home. Understood. Setting a course for Mount Fuji. 253, that's a damn good chain right there. We have to fight for our country and our people. Proceeding with the mission. Kira here. We're getting word that the Guardian Spirit has destroyed part of Sagami Bay. Such power. How can I protect our people against a raging Guardian? We've got a visual. The Guardian has been impaled by several conduit spikes, so make those your first priority. However, the Guardian Spirit is so far gone, we may not be able to save it from itself. Well, we have to try. Perhaps the Guardian Spirit is no longer Guardian. And it has a bunch of different attacks. Most annoying being this one right here. So. The Guardian Spirit has raised an energy shield, aimed for the shield's power source in its chest. And they have different ones depending on that's powered by different spikes. You want to start out by taking out the one from its chest. Otherwise, it can create a barrier that you cannot break through. Well, it'll create four nodes on the front of it, and you have to destroy that. But it can still use all of its attacks while you're trying, just to get a chance to hurt it. But its most common attack will be a shock wave, which it uses its wings for. So once you take out the chest, you need to go after those wings. And you can pretty much avoid getting hit by his fireballs. This is the easiest move to avoid, by the way, from his chest. Simply by holding off the one side of the screen. Of course, thanks to his hits, I've been only hit a couple of times. You can't damage the Guardian unless you get closer. They're coming. Yeah, if you're far away from him, then it will attack from its wings more often. I gotta say, I really love this song it plays. Much as let it play a little bit so you can hear it. I think this is a move from its head. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. Alright, that's one ring down. Those other things is coming at you is solely from, from its feet. Come on. 
Oh yeah, there's a death in the head. Yeah, once we get this other wing out, it's gonna be smooth sailing from here. Now this is hard though, it'd be constantly throwing those shockwaves from its wings. I mean, you'd hardly have a chance to get close. But if you can beat that, it's a real achievement. Yeah, we have this one now. You can pretty much get this right up and close to him. Don't feel much retaliation. Much. I do get careless, though. So. It's just trying to suck you in, you just hold back. Keep trying to shoot it. And try not to get hit. And like always, just pull it all the way over to one side. When it does that. So a little more, I'm sure of it. Oh, you took out my hit while I finished you off. I did it, Father. The country is ours again. <laughs> What's wrong? I've got a new signal. I'm tracing it over Mount Fuji. Be careful. Unidentified aerial forces have appeared in the combat zone. It's huge. What is that thing? Zooming on its insignia. It's the enemy! Madam President, please fall back to base! We'll open the forward bay. Ah, uh, so they have wings too. Kira. Did you ever think our country could be so beautiful? Madam President. Just like my father always said. Yes, it is. I won't allow anyone to tarnish it ever again! All hands, prepare to engage. The target is that battleship. Now really, why does that have to end there? That would have been a badass final boss to deal with. Because actually, that is not the end of the story. There is a sequel to Liberation Maiden, but it's a visual novel. Nothing like this. And it's Japan only. I think it's on the PS3 and PS Vita. But not the 3DS, where the original was. How that happened, I don't know. I really don't know the story to it, but I've seen the opening to it, and it was really good. Maybe if we're lucky, there'll be a translation one day. But as for now, it remains a mystery. I really wish that wasn't the case. I played this game a year ago. Maybe two years ago? I don't remember when I first played it. I just know I had it and it was sitting in my backlog for a long time. So I bought it with some left of the eShop credit. I'm kinda disappointed in myself that it took so long to play it because I really enjoyed it. It's kinda the closest thing we had to a new Star Fox game on a Nintendo system. Well, supposedly, when this E3 shows around, it's going to be a new Star Fox being shown. I'm actually recording this on June 9th. 
less than a week before it's... No, one week before that presentation. So by the time you see this, what I'm saying about Starbox will be outdated. Anyway, this is a really fun game. And I love the music in it. It was just so good. I think what made me want to get this game was one, it was Star Fox-ish, but also because it was made by Studio 51, and I just really like the games he makes. Especially No More Heroes. If we're lucky, we may even get a third one one day. Okay, public approval is a combination of a few things. But it's... I don't know if it has anything to do with how quick the submissions if you beat them. But you get it by getting 100% purification. Or near 100% purification on everything. But I think your time has something to do with it as well. That also affects it. Ah yes, the ranking. Now I can show the gallery and the records. This is what I was talking about. And this is a really good tune as well. Pretty much the first handful of these is pretty much just by playing through the game normally. That's nothing, and clearing some stages. And you'll get info about the different enemies when you destroy a certain amount of them. One for playing at about 2 hours and 4 hours and 50 chains. You'll get that naturally as well. And several for 100% purification. Clear so without taking damage, that's best on the easy mode in stage 1. And just playing the game 10 times. Yeah, that's 100% approval rating. You get to watch the ending movie. I mean, it's a short little game, but it's only a few dollars. And you can replay it over and over again. And try and beat your high score. And I wish there were leaderboards. It would have been great to have here. Anyway, this is Jargus Zero. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next Let's Play. Until then.